Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 3 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to add the furnitures and then the doors and then the, some detailed lines. Now we're going to continue working on this by starting with the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a section line right about here. This is in order for me to see on this side. So I'm just going to press escape there and then um, go from the bottom to the top so that it's facing here. If, for example, you start on the top and then on the bottom, um, it will be facing this way, but you can always flip it anyway. So now what we could do is uh, let's just stay here and then um, later on we're going to change our views. So I'm just, I'm just adding this now so that it will be ready for later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to architecture. This will be model in place. Choose generic model. And then press OK. And we're going to add in an extrusion. Here I'm going to choose rectangle. And then I'm going to add around 900 from this. So I'm going to add 900 right about here. I'm just going to leave some space for the fridge. So something like that because we're going to add um, a case for the fridge anyway. So just leave it like that. 900 is our depth. And then after that, let's change the materials or let's add in a material. Here, I'm going to go to miscellaneous and add something different. Uh, just add in the paint. So this paint, apply, OK. And then let's click finish. And then let's go to 3D and don't click finish yet. So 3D, click 3D, and we're going to pull it up a little bit. Around 700 is good. Or maybe 700 is too short. Let's make it 850. Okay. After that, um, I'm going to add a void. So after this, don't click finish yet because we're going to add a void form, void extrusion, and then we're going to add the void extrusion right here. And then we need to set the face first. So let's pick the plane. Um, just to let you know, we're still on 3D, and then we're going to click the space, uh, the face here. And once we we choose the face here, we'll be able to add in. So I believe we need to add, or we need to set the plane on this side because we're going to add a void here for the kick plane. So now it's right here and we just need a little bit. Just let's make it 150 and then the height 150 as well. So that's good enough. Click finish and here we're going to extend it 
like that. So from the end to end, and then we need to cut the geometry. So once we click the cut, it did cut. And as you can see, now we have a click plate. After that, what we could do is we're going to level one again and add in the top or the countertop. So go create again another extrusion. Now change this to a stone. So go to stone and maybe we could do granite cut polish. Press OK and then we just need to copy the same width and depth. Click finish but go to 3D again so that we could see what we're doing. Just pull it up like this and then just pull the bottom blade like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to use align. We're gonna align to the face. As you can see it's perfectly aligned and now we could just pull this down and just estimate a 25. So 25 millimeters just one inch top something like that would be good enough. So I'm happy with this. Now we can basically click finish and here we go we have this one done. Um, what we could do is we're going to insert the sink. So I think it's better to insert the sink so that you know that or you can see what we're going to cut here as well. So let's insert load family and then let's go to plumbing, architecture, equipment or fixture sorry and then sink and let's just choose a proper sink here which is this one is good enough click open and then type in cm space bar to turn it around and we could just add it in the middle like so once you're done we could go to 3d and as you can see we need to void this form so we could just select here and edit the type and here on level one we could click void again and create an extruded from here so I'm just going to create an opening so let's change it to rectangle and just create an, an opening from here something like that click finish but change it to 3d so that we can manipulate what we did make sure that we're grabbing the void so you can just click on your tab and then from your tab let's pull this up so we just need to know what we're pulling up not that one so I want to just select this one but let me figure out So the void form is right here. It's basically easier to select it from the bottom. Luckily, we haven't added the the floors yet. So what I usually do is I'm just going to extend it all the way at the top, and from the bottom, just estimate it like that. And then after that, click cut geometry and then click finish so it's still not appearing from what I'm seeing so let's do it again 
edit type and then let's look for so I'm just clicking on the void form so let's do it again it's easier to undo it okay cut geometry There we go. Once you click Cut Geometry, as you can see, there's an opening there. You just need to click Finish again. And here you could just manipulate now some of them. But let's leave that because it's not something that will be sh as shown anyway. So we're just happy that we have this point already now here. So after that, what we could do is we could load in the fridge so that we could create a case for that. So go to insert, load family again. Go back to the main and then it will be under specialty equipment, domestic, go to mid range and let's go with the fridge so I'm gonna choose this open go to level 1 and then type in CM spacebar and put it in the wall let's make sure we move it so MV exactly in the wall there we go I don't want the text to be showing so I'm gonna click it edit type and then I'm going to uncheck the show label apply and then OK click it again and then I'm just gonna put it in the middle like so and then once, once that's done what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here on our section and I'm going to do another model in place generic model press OK and then we're going to add an extrusion you will need to pick a plane and we need to set it on this wall after that Let's use rectangle to create this. And then delete this. And then slice this. So SL, split element. Press escape. TR, trip and extend. So that was trim and extend. And then SL for split element. It's under modify. After that, before you click finish, you will need to change the materials. So we could just go to miscellaneous again and choose a different finish. Let's try this one. Click apply and then OK. Click finish. Before you click the last finish, we could just extend it from here by using this arrow and handle. We want to make sure that it's not too much for this space. And we need to give it some room here. This is just perfect enough for this space. So we're just going to give it some room like that. Click finish and it will look like something like this and it looks perfect. What we could do is we could also extend this one all the way to the top. We can even um, add some storage right here at the top. So it, that's something that we could do 
later on. Or maybe we could do it now since we're here. So I'm just going to align this at the top of the wall like so. Um, I'm going to edit this and go back to section which is we could just click it here section number one and then we already click the um, edit and then we're going to going to add void extrusion pick a plane and we're going to pick the plane of the um, extruded part what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a void AL like that and then we're just gonna copy so some storage is at the top I think that's something different open storage and then before we click finish again it's already um, extruded or cut so that's good that's it become easy for us we just need to extend it a little bit so that we have the depth and then we can click finish there we go it looks nice so something that has open storage that we could just add some stuff there. So next thing we're going to do is the cabinet at the top. So the cupboard. Um, let's go to section again. And here we're going to create the case. So here it's it will be another model in place another generic model press ok and then here we're just going to add an extrusion pick a plane which is the wall again and then after that this will appear and you'll be able to create the cupboard the cupboard I want it to be around 900 from the top and then here we're gonna set the depth to around 500 will be enough and then here we need to set the, the material and again we're just gonna choose a random material Let's use this one. Let's use texture, wall texture, stucco. Apply, OK, and then click Finish. Go to 3D to double check, which is good, and click Finish. So we're good with this, but we need to create the cabinets. The face of the cabinets so I'm going to go to section again and add the face right here so we're gonna go back to model in place generic model click finish and it will be another extrusion pick a plane and we need to use or use the plane for the extrusion that we create and then here we're going to add some cabinets like so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna create the whole one and I'm gonna going to divide them maybe we could divide it from here like so I'm not worried about the center line too much and then here I'm going to just put it around 10 would be good 
and then I'm going to copy this and then multiple just check I'm just gonna divide it by four like that and I'm just estimating it after that we created some multiple lines so I'm going to do that so that we could delete those ones that are small and this one uh, as well at the bottom after that we need to use SL split element here as well and then here as well at the top and then now after we finish that press escape tr term extent okay and the extrusion let's make it as 15 only and let's change the material let's just use another plaster and this will be the one under the one that we just uh, added earlier and we could just click finish once we do, let's look at it in 3D and see what we're, we've come and created. And that looks nice. So we're going to leave it for now here and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.